Hello, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my new series of tutorials on curve fitting. Well, this is my fifth video on curve fitting. In my first video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. In my second video, I told you how to fit a straight line by group averages method. In my third video, I told you how to fit a curve for a quadratic equation. In my fourth video, I told you about the graphical method for curve fitting. And today in my fifth video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting directly on Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator. Do you know, you can directly find out the equation of the line, you can find the correlation coefficient r, you can find out the value of x for given value of y, value of y for given value of x, you can find out the values of a and b and so many things directly on the scientific calculator without doing the mathematics or without drawing any graph. Isn't it cool? So our question is fit a curve of the form y is equal to ax plus b for the given data. This is our given data set where the values of x and the corresponding values of y are given. And also find out y of 3.5. That means find out the value of y for x equals to 3.5. So let's proceed to the solution. y is equal to ax plus b is the equation of the straight line. So our curve is a straight line and y is equal to ax plus b is also represented as y is equal to a plus bx. This representation is followed by the Casio calculator which I will review now. And if you compare the y is equal to ax plus b and y is equal to a plus bx you will get small a equals to capital B and small b is equal to capital A. So now let's do the curve fitting on the scientific calculator. For that, press the mode button and press 3 for statistic mode. So press 3. Next press 2 for a plus bx and enter the values onto the calculator. So first enter the x values. To enter a value, type the value and press equals to. The cursor will come one step down. 2 equals to 3 equals to 4 equals to 5 equals to 6 equals to. Next, we will enter the corresponding y values. Move the cursor up. So for x equals to 1, y is 2. Next, 4, 7, 9, 12 and 14. So after entering the values, clear the screen by AC button. Next, Press shift 1 for statistic mode and we are doing linear regression so press 7 for that and that's it. You can find out the values of A, B, R that is correlation coefficient, estimated values of X and estimated values of Y. So next let us evaluate the equation of the line. For that first find out the value of A and B. So press 1 for A and press equals to. So a is equals to minus 0.6. Similarly for b, press shift 1, 7 and 2 for b. So b is 2.4571. So we know the values of a and b. So equation of the line is given by y is equals to a plus bx. That is y is equals to a that is minus 0.6 plus b that is 2.4571 into x and now we have to find out the value of y for x equals to 3.5 so if we put x equals to 3.5 in place of x in the equation that is minus 0 0.6 plus 2.4571 into x equals to 3.5 so we will get 7.99985 that is nearly equals to 8 so let's do it on the calculator minus 0 0.6 plus 2.4571 into x that is 3.5 and press equals to that is 7.99985 or almost equals to 8 and if you follow the another representation then small a is equals to capital B that is 2.4571 and small b is equals to capital A that is minus 0.6 
So the equation of the line is given by y is equals to ax plus b or y is equals to a 2.4571 into x plus b and b is minus 0.6. So minus 0.6. And if we put the x equals to 3.5 into the equation of the line that is 2.4571 into x that is 3.5 minus 0 0.6 you will get 7.2985 that is real equals to 8. So if you follow any of the representations you will get the same value. Let's do it on the calculator 2.4571 into x minus 0 0.6 plus equals to that is 7.2985. Next is correlation coefficient. It's also called the Pearson correlation coefficient or the sample correlation coefficient. It's represented by small r. And its range is from 0 to plus 1 for positive correlation that is upward line. So if you draw the curve and if the line is upward then our correlation coefficient is positive. To know more about drawing the curve and more about the graphical method of curve fitting, please watch my previous video. And the correlation coefficient is from minus 1 to 0 for negative correlation, that is downward line. So if the line is downward like this, then the correlation coefficient value is negative. The correlation coefficient also tells us the fitness of the curve. That means if the correlation coefficient value is closer to plus 1 in case of positive correlation, then we can see our points are closer to the line and if the correlation coefficient value is closer to minus 1 in case of negative correlation then we can see all the points are closer to the line. In other words our line or our curve fits the points well. So the correlation coefficient is also tells us about the fitness of the curve and if we are not doing the curve fitting but a graphical method you can't visualize how well our curve or line fits the point. So if we are following an algebraic method for curve fitting then the correlation coefficient value tells us the fitness of the curve. So let's find out the correlation coefficient value for our given data set. So for that press shift 1, 7 and 3 for R and press equals to. So that is 0.998 that is very close to plus 1. So we can say our curve or straight line is upward and our curve fits the point well. That is our points are closer to the line. So I have drawn the curve for you and you can see this line fits the point well and this is an upward line. All the points are very closer to the line. So our correlation value is very closer to plus 1. So to know more about this, please watch my previous video on graphical method of curve fitting to understand the concept well. Next we will find out the value of y for x equals to 3.5 on the calculator. So enter 3.5, press shift 1, 7 and y. So for y, press 5 and press equals to. So for x equals to 3.5, y is 8. You can also do the reverse calculation. You can find out the value of x for given value of y. Let's do it. So for y equals to 8, what is the value of x? For that press shift 1, 7 and 4 for estimated value of x. So for y is 8, x is 3.5. Isn't it cool? So that's all on calculator tutorial. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos on curve fitting so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when I will upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this so you appreciate my effort please like and share the video so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing